time that book bag with 15 different tassels in different colors catch your attention. Just consider me. And this has nothing to do with any toxic masculinity. Um, you know, just some men don't have the anointing for glitter. And so that's it. So law number two, your bag is his bag. Just be mindful of your travel bag. Okay, well, while we are being mindful of our travel bag, the I'm just going to direct this to partner that remembers to pack everything. Maybe pack for your partner. So law number three, pack your partner's toiletry. Yes. <laughs> because you don't want to make an unnecessary trip to a local convenience store or spend any resources that can go towards souvenirs on a toothbrush, a soap, lotion. Especially if one party has the inclination to be offended <laughs> when their toothbrush is used without their permission. Yeah, sharing is not caring when it comes to a toothbrush. So make lives easier on yourself. Avoid those pitfalls. <laughs> oh. So now let's talk about something that's particularly important that you all take note of. And this one is directed towards the myth. Whenever Bay is hungry, and I do mean whenever, all plans are immediately canceled until further notice. And so that's just irrespective of the fact that you're only three blocks away from the nearest attraction, and it took you 45 minutes to get that close to it. 
cancel. It's irrespective of the fact that you have an appointment that you need to meet. When Bay is hungry, all plans are canceled and immediately. And so if you hear any growls, if you get any looks, uh, just cancel your plans. The only thing on the agenda is food. Make sure Bay is fed. So that takes us to law number five then. Sharing is caring when it comes to your food. <laughs> so share your food. Share your food. Sometimes, I'm not going to say women, men can be indecisive too. And the other partner's food looks a little more appetizing. So just be willing to share. Maybe get an extra plate even. And share get the extra plate. your food. <laughs> just get the extra plate. <laughs> You're sharing your food, brother. Just get the extra plate, number five. And so that takes Share us to number food. number six, which is just go with the flow. Many of us, we have our itineraries, people of God, and we know what we want to do, how we want to do it, when we want to do it. But how many of you have ever needed a vacay from a vacay? And so oftentimes we invest so much energy just doing it and checking things off of our bucket list. And you know, at the expense of our enjoyment of the trip. So some of our most memorable times have been just sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying um, nature, enjoying God's creation. So just go with the flow. And so that takes us to number seven. Remember that they is the main attraction. That's the reason you went on vacation, to enjoy time with your bay. So it doesn't matter how beautifully breathtaking the canal and Venice is. <laughs> bay is your main attraction. Facts. Uh, and, and I agree with that. And so I'm really excited about the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. But nothing is more impressive, complex, and intriguing than my bay. And so as long as you all keep that in mind, that God's handiwork, the main attraction, is always with you, taking everything in, it has set the tone for a very enjoyable travel, and that's a law. Yes, so those are the seven laws of traveling with faith. So we thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If there's any laws that we didn't, reference um drop it in the comments we may do another video later who knows but we thank you for joining us and we will see you next time see you later bye bye